So welcome, everybody. Welcome back again. This is a new human experience podcast. And this is the first podcast for for the new year 2021. And um, yes, I <laughs> I'm not sure whether I actually picked this date or not. Um, but I was like thinking, oh, I want three weeks off. So from from last time, it just so happened that three weeks is on the 21st. And it was, um, it's high time because I don't know um, if all of you felt this, but today I kind of felt, I kind of felt like a big weight um, came off my shoulders. The, the last last week, I think, um, and and this week as well, it's like seems the the collective this seems to be so the energy was so chaotic, and then this today was actually finally the first day that actually felt like ah yes I I can go forward again. It's it's like there's no nothing to keep me where I am, and so for me this. Today is actually the start of the new year to me. So, and before I start to talk about the new year, I actually want to just talk a little bit about the old year. So what a year we had in 2020. Um, in many aspects of our life, uh, it's like 2020 was the year that everything just ground to a halt. And I've actually heard a lot of people wishing and hoping that 2021 is going to be a um, new beginning, it's going to be back to normal, that we can actually have something that more resemble normalcy. And in a sense um, that, yeah, it's, it's like the, even though Today seems to be, for me, it felt like the, the start of the new year. However, um, there's still a lot of old energy that we are all working through. Um, and um, I would like to suggest that we actually stop paying attention to, to what the calendar is telling us or to stop paying attention to what other people are telling us how it is that the, the world is, is supposed to be um, because 2020 was really the, the, the end of an era and we are, 2021 is the start of something that is completely new. What is the start of? We're not sure yet. We just know that this is a new era. And um, the old era is, is not completely done yet. We are still in the process of dismantling it. And so that was um, 2020. We, we kind of saw the beginning of that dismantling. And it's, it's continuing to fall apart right before our eyes. And um, it's, even though it may seem on some level that it's something that this change was forced upon us by some virus or by um, whatever the government or cabal or whatever you may think. I just want to, to let all of you know that on some level though, our soul already know that this is, this is what we signed up for. Every one of us, um, every one of the 7 billion plus humans that are on earth right now have been waiting for this. We all signed up. We actually, you know, everybody was trying their hardest to, to come here and be the witness and be part of this shift to participate in this and um, without knowing what this is, without knowing how the shift is gonna go, but we brave souls just, just um, decided, hey, yes, here we come, Earth. And so we are still witnessing the, the destruction of the old. And the only thing I can promise you 
in 2021 is that there'll be more of the old falling, going by the, the, the wayside. And um, the most important, but that is only part of the, the, that's only part of what's showing up in 2021, the old dying. The other part, the, the, the flip side is that the new is also coming into focus, even though right now it's, it's not in focus yet. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but we can start to actually feel the new coming already. We are getting more and more impatient about old energy, old way of doing things, old way of thinking, and we are getting more and more uncomfortable in that um, even the people who want to get back to normal, I think after a good um, six months, maybe maybe even longer, nine months of, of staying home most, mostly and thinking about, um, oh, I want the old normal back. However, on some level, we also know that the old normal was not that great to start with. It was never good. It was never the good old days. It was just the tolerable old days because we somehow managed to tolerate the old structure. We are so, um, we, we really have not resonated with the old structure for a long time already. However, we was clinging onto it, clinging onto it, and, and just hoping that somehow we're going to squeak by and be able to um, live our end days in peace and be able to survive it. So we actually have been on survival mode, trying to um, make it in the old energy already. And that's really not thriving at all. That's not what we signed up for because we are eternal souls. And eternal souls, even though I'm quite sure that from an eternal soul point of view, it's really exciting to come here and experience the limits. However, it's also very uncomfortable as well. That's why when we come here, most of us actually um, forgot who we are. We taken that, that blue pill. We decided to, oh, I don't want to wake up. No, I want to take the blue pill, not the red pill. Sign me up for being able to um, taste that juicy slab of steak of beef or whatever animal that I'm, I'm going to enjoy for my dinner and, um, and don't care about what is really um, going on within, within ourselves, how we are trying to stuff down all the, the discomforts that we feel each and every day on many levels. We've been feeling this discomfort and yet we, because we, our mind has been so enslaved that we don't, we can't even think of how to break out of this mode, how to, how to actually be who we truly are, eternal spirit, limitless beings. We don't know how to be that. Most of us don't. It is, and, and now that we are souls, and all of the, the, the universe really conspired with our soul to co-create this opportunity to stop everything and let er, every bit of the old system to die. And it's dying right in front of our eyes and we all have front row seats. There's actually no back benches. Everybody is in it, whether we actually doing something or not. We are actually all witness. We are front row center witnessing this dying of the old. And what is the old? This old energy is really all based on 
disconnection. Everything is built on disconnection. Um, and you can see it all through the systems. Everything is disconnected. Our sciences are all disconnected. So you have, you have um, people studying astronomy, you have people studying biology, you have people studying chemistry. And if we truly know and understand who we are, we'll know, we would instinctively know that all these sciences actually cannot be studied on its in its own silo, there has to be cross references. There has to be ways to to link up the biology with the chemistry because um, it's really the same thing. It's only studying it in a very different way. The same thing with astronomy. It's really studying what's outside because what's outside is actually reflected from within. If you just look at the, the um, an image of an eye, and you compare that with the image of the um, the the spiral Milky Way, you would be able to actually see more, I would say, similarities than than differences. Even though there may be there are definitely differences, for example, differences in size and all that. However, there are so much similarities as well. It is, and if you actually even look at the um, other systems within our society, look at health, look at education, all of those things are all based on disconnection. And um, I can just actually give you one good example. Let's take the example of health. So um, in case you don't uh, um, already know, we are kind of in some sort of a health crisis right now. And what is the, the, um, the number one, um, I would say, number one way to, to make sure that we are healthy and get us through this crisis? Disconnection. We should all stay home. Do your part, stay apart. That is the slogan. So this, this, this theme of disconnection is being used everywhere because when we are disconnected, it does something to us at a soul level. When we are disconnected from ourselves, when we are disconnected from each other, we are vulnerable. We, we feel vulnerable. There's actually more fear there is more um, confusion. There is, it does more harm to our health and our body than helps us. However, the, um, the authorities um, in, their, in their wisdom decided that this connection, stay away, is the best way to handle this health crisis. I just want to ask each and every one of you is, do you feel safe? Now, do you feel healthy now? Do you feel safe about your health now? Do you feel more safe now than before we started this disconnection policy? So your answer will probably, um, whatever it is, it's probably something that you really needed to, to know and to hear within. Because this connection is a great way to trick us into forgetting who we truly are. And so all of these systems right now in our society that is based mainly on this connection is falling apart absolutely falling apart. Um, if, you, if you keep watching, keep really witnessing without giving in to the fear or, or um, anxiety or confusion or anger or whatever other emotions that 
is coming up for you if you just stay calm and and witness and notice the systems and the things that are starting to fall apart and i and i promise you they will fall apart and that's the one thing that i can absolutely predict is that things will fall apart in 2021 and when you really start to um witness that that falling apart i want you also to really know as well that is it's it's supposed to fall apart because it's one thing to know that you know it's falling apart it's another thing a very important thing to really get to understand and know why the old structure has to go the old energy of disconnection is great when we are playing forget when we are playing with the game of I don't remember who I am. I don't want to know that I am actually eternal. Um, so I don't want to remember that I am limitless. I just want to come here and play this um, little human that is being um, bullied or feeling vulnerable or feeling um, being mistreated or being um, made to feel small and shameful or any other negative emotions that's um that game is it's over we all decided that we don't want to play that game anymore it's it stopped being fun a long time ago and we the the wisdom of our soul being within our heart. The collective finally all agreed that all that is going by the wayside. All this disconnection, forgetting who we are, um, fun while it was, <clears throat> is no longer serving us. We're done playing with that. And that is the reason, that is the real reason why all this is falling apart. Not because it was bad. I'm not saying that it was good. I'm just saying that, well, it was it was fun while it lasted. And now we're done with playing with that game. And um, now this is the beginning of a new game, new era based on based on who we truly are. Not based on forgetting, but based on remembering who we are and what does that look like i don't know i really don't know i would like to tell you that i know i would like to tell you that i've lived in that reality that i remember fully who i am i remember what i can or cannot do actually there's nothing i cannot do and that i remember that i am absolutely eternal and all-powerful i would like to say that i've done all of that but i don't know i don't know that i i I can consciously um, remember that that resonates with me, that, that, that I have some idea that um, there are things that I can do, which I am quite sure I can do, but somehow when I'm in this body, I cannot do. Yes, there are some of those things, but I cannot tell you, I cannot say, that I have lived, have actually embodied those experiences in this current body, in this lifetime. I cannot say that. I would be lying. I only know that this is the time when we all agreed that the old game is, is we're, not, we're not renewing that anymore, that we are all going to come together and co-create completely new game, whatever that game is. And that um, we actually are all in agreement that we don't want someone else to do it for us. 
that's why the the way that because other planets has actually gone through this this um, changing the game from from being in third dimension into fifth dimension. It's a completely new energy, new way of being. Other planets have done it. We're not the first nor the only planet. We're, we're actually quite new in doing it. And the way we as a collective on earth decided to do that is that we don't want um, someone else to change it for us. We actually agreed that if we were to take on all that that um, the last 10,000 years of forgetting who we are and really playing in this this very polarized game um, and very um, I would say interesting game that our reward is that when we come back and start to stand up and start to remember who we are, that we get to do it ourselves. That's why no one else, even though, um, even though we may want other people to step in and do it and make this change for us, but we know on a collective level that the best way for us to recuperate and really get back and remember and never forget again this innate part of ourselves the eternal limitless part of ourselves the only way we can fully recover is to actually be allowed to do this ourselves to come up with the solution to come up with this journey by ourselves and the only way we can do that is with one another is when each and every one of us make that choice that i'm not going to rely on someone else I'm not going to look at someone else to do it for me. I'm going to do this myself. And um, so that's why in 2021, we are all being called to let go of what is continuing on to disconnect us with who we truly are. So in this new year, while we are sitting with our popcorn and waiting and looking at what is going to come down next, we also need to step up as well, is to um, look in within ourselves and start to, while we are looking at the outside falling down, the outside falling down and the old system falling down. We also have to allow the, the old systems that's still alive and well within ourselves to fall as well, to, to let go of those things as well. Because the outside is only a reflection of what's within us. If we see the old system falling apart outside, but we don't change within, then all we're going to co-create in this new era is just another version of the old. And that's not going to happen. We, we collectively already decide that we don't want that anymore. And so apart from witnessing what's crumbling outside, we are all being called to witness what needed to be let go of within as well. So the question that I want and suggest to all of you just to start ask yourself is what beliefs 
you are still holding on to that disconnects you from your essence, from who you truly are as eternal spirit. Because you are eternal spirit, you are limitless. There's nothing you cannot do. And if you, and whatever it is within you that disagrees, that is what needed to go. We have all been programmed to fit into the old paradigm, the old society. This programming is really what's disconnecting us from our true selves. And um, some people may say that this is this is this is the next um, the new era is about oneness, oneness. So what is oneness? Nobody knows. I mean, yeah, we kind of know the concept of oneness, but we have not lived oneness in this body yet. We have within our Akashic record that there is there is this concept of oneness that we we lived um, for a few thousand years in this in this vessel, in this series uh, in this series of of vessel. The, the body that that been created for us to 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 house our consciousness this body that the first couple of thousand years this body has lived and still remember this this concept of oneness however um, we really have not lived oneness in this embodiment yet the um, the the old the first five thousand years when this body when this this the series of body started to to live um, and house our consciousness we have a concept of oneness however that was an uncontaminated concept of oneness now that we have gone through this this previous 10,000 years of forgetting who we truly are completely being so far down the pole and in terms of um, knowing and remembering who we are there's been so many programs there's been so many um distortion in our energy field that is still lurking in our body in our a lot of our um, major part of our akashic record that is really um distorting our, our memory of what oneness truly is and i'm not saying this to make it seems like it is impossible because Nothing is impossible. That's who we are. We are, we are limitless. Yes, of course we can remember it, but I don't think the, it is the idea that we want to go all the way back then. It's really counterproductive in that there is a beauty that there is actually something that we can add to our previous understanding of oneness. After we've gone through the last 10,000 years of losing this, of losing and forgetting who we are, and now we get to have this opportunity to remember who we truly are, we actually get to have another go at redefining what oneness is of actually making this this idea of coming back together to be even more rich in texture that's the reason why 
source, the creator source, wanted to have all these experiences because these experiences enrich who we are. So this time around, when we remember again who we truly are, it's not as though this is the first time we remember it. It is that it is on top of having lost and forgotten who we truly are and now come back that we can truly and actually be able to appreciate who we are and what we are and what truly resonate with us at a higher level of appreciation of really and relishing and treasuring this, this new dimension of oneness. So I cannot tell you what the future of the new era is going to look like because um, we are all co-creating that, each and every one of us co-creating that together. So it is not up to me to, to tell you or anyone else what it's going to look like. I can only do my part. I can only do my part in letting go of what's stopping me from um, really believing that I am this limitless, eternal spirit embodied. I will do my part. I'm very happy to do that. And I would really love to inspire and suggest that all of you to do that as well, because at a soul level, you already accepted that. You already decided that. You signed up for that. And that's why you're here today. That's why all 7 billion plus humans are here today. Is that, yeah we all decided to come here whatever it is that our soul decided to co-create next no one knows it is a it is a co-creation and that's why nobody knows you can start today and right now Right here, right now, you can start today or you can start at any time, really no judgment because it's, it's something that is uniquely you, each and every one of us has to make that choice. Each and every one of us has to decide to take the steps, has to decide to look within ourselves and really ask the questions. The important question is, what memories and beliefs am I still holding on to that disconnects me from my eternal limitless essence? And then as difficult or maybe as easy as it may be, is to start to let go of those beliefs let go of those memories in our body, in our mind, and start to ask the next important question, which is, what is my soul here to do to bring forth the new dimension? Because each and every one of us has to take part in doing this. That's why we are here, is that this, this co-creation um, there's no one that can sit at the sidelines. Everyone has to take part. It's okay to, to take your time to really get ready and to decide for yourself when or how you want to do this. However, if you're here, if you're here on earth today, then you have 
at a soul level agreed to do this at some point. Maybe not this lifetime, maybe not even the next 10 lifetimes. Maybe you're so decided that, oh, I want to take the other path. I want to really go and live out the old paradigm and really get to the end and really see where that's going to lead. And that's okay. However, that's only you can make that choice. And if you at a soul level decided that you want to take part in the new paradigm to bring about and make some contribution and make something that is uniquely your own. And so now is the time to start to ask yourself those questions. What's holding me back? What is still, what beliefs, what relationship, what emotions, what, um, I would say what trauma we're still holding in our body, it's somehow still convincing us that we can't, we can't, we're not, um, we're not this powerful, limitless being. And it is really up to you to decide when you're going to let go of those beliefs, how you're going to let go of those beliefs. And no one is here to judge you. No one is here to take you by the hand and do it for you. We may be able to take you by the hand and guide you and, and assist you, but we can't do it for you. You've earned the right. You've earned the right to create your own future to create your own timeline uniquely for yourself. You've earned that right. Just by jumping into this timeline, you've earned that right to create whatever future that you want to be a witness to, to co-create and to remember who you truly are you can take one day to do that or you can take a thousand years that's all still you are the one you have earned that that you are the one that is going to do it however you do it that is up to you and that's all i want to say for this for this um, first podcast of the year, of the year 2021, is that this, this theme, the theme is really the call to shine, is that I really want to take the next, well, less than 365 days, that's for sure, take whatever's left of this year is to explore this theme with all of you to ask the same two questions what's holding you back and what do you want to bring forth these two questions in as many creative ways as i possibly can and to assist you to inspire you all to start to do it for yourself because I certainly cannot do it for you. It is, this is your journey. This is our journey together. However, how to create your, um, how to create your relationship with this new paradigm is still your creation. No one else can do it for you. And this is exciting that this is, this is really what we, we've gone through all the, the ringer to hear. 
is to really remember, start to remember how magnificent and limitless and eternal we truly are. And not just to, to, um, to know this at the, the mental level or to understand it at a soul level, but actually live this reality in embodiment. Maybe not exactly this embodiment. Some of us may take a little longer, may take a couple of embodiments to, to get the whole journey through. However, in this embodiment, in this, um, in this wonderful technology called our body, this is how we are each going to do it on our own together. So exciting journey. And I am done. Thank you very much for joining me on this, um, I would say the beginning ceremony of this whole year journey. And I welcome all your feedback and suggestion. And if there's any way that I can um, make this easier for you to do it yourself, then please feel free to let me know either as a group um, within the group or just email me or somehow get a hold of me privately and let me know. <laughs>